Good thing I have pants on. Welcome to the world of... Hey YouTubers, I'm Matthew Rodriguez here for another episode of The World Of. Last week we went on an out of this world adventure with Taruk, the first flight. Strap on your old goggles though, because today we're going to discover the world of Curios. Curios is like going into the incredible basement where your grandpa kept all of his coolest things. Call it like a cabinet of curiosities. It's a steampunk inspired show with a decidedly surf twist. We follow a very eccentric inventor whose world turns upside down when the clock strikes 11-11. Trampoline artists, insane jugglers, and contortionists performing atop a giant hand will leave your jaw on the floor. Oh my God, that's incredible. Our audience and the inventor will never look at life in the same way. It's 11-11, means it's time for fun facts. This is the first time that Cirque du Soleil presents a welcoming act on top of the big top before the show starts. Weather permitting, three artists climb up the big top and greet the guests from above while playing music and acting. To make the accordion man's attire, so we have the, talking about the accordion man, we have this clip. Okay, so this is part of Curios, basically. Uh, yeah. We have a guy called the accordion guy, and he can adjust himself to his counterpart. So if he's talking to you, it'll be your size. When he's talking to me, Lee, he's about a foot and a half tall. He so just... he's an accordion uh, Okay, I got it. Uh, this is actually all pleading uh, done by him here. So we have someone, when they start, they're gonna start pleading the entire fabric and sewing it together to create this. The entire that costume. That seems like an insane amount of work. Uh, the costume is about 230 hours in making. And then one person is just sitting there all day making that. 230 hours. I'd be like, hello, I'm done. Now let's take a look at one of our favorite acts the Acronet. <laughs> Everybody, we have an interview with one of the guys on the trampoline. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, I'm Matthew. <laughs> How are you? So, tell me about your involvement in the show. How did you first get the job? Uh, from the background of gymnastic before, mm -hmm. until 2010. And in 2010, I did a casting for Cirque du Soleil in France. And they called me six months later, like, yeah, we would like to have you for a general formation. After this formation, they gave me a contract for Salty Banco with a show who closed in 2012. All right. And they called me after uh, one month later again. Are you interested to do a creation for a new show? And I said, oh yeah, sure. Like, yeah. that's the best thing is to do a creation because you, you participate to the process to create a show. So yeah, I signed for Curios. And I've been on Curios now since three years. When you think about day one, is the show what you imagined it to be now, three years later? Especially our act. I'm going to be specific on my act. For example, it's a big acronet, like a big trampoline. Mm -hmm. okay. And nobody knew what we could do with it. It was the first time we're doing this, you know? It was wow. like a big trampoline. Nobody been trying before, so we went on it. We tried to bounce by ourselves. We could go one meter high, so we can do much. We've been finding a way to help each other to go higher. Okay. I know we're doing an act. We are like 30 feet high with six people pushing around for one guy bouncing in the middle and we're flying. Now, I know you're gonna probably say no, but do you get scared being 30 feet up in the air? Yeah, I do, every night. Oh, you do, okay. And I'm someone very superstitious. Yeah. So I have like people making fun of me, but uh, yeah, like before to go on stage, I like to do a little bit the same routine, you know, like, uh, you know, touch wood. Yeah, yeah, knock on wood. I, I developed knock, the, on yeah, wood. knock on wood, I developed this. I need to find a little piece of wood, touch it, and okay. go on stage. And after I'm fine, if I did this, I'm fine. Is the touring ever exhausting for you? I love it. I'm, you love I mean, it? I love yeah. it. At Cirque, we have two ways to travel. You have the arena tour. Yeah. Or you're going to one week, you change city. One week, you change city every week. Yeah. Or big top. Or we're staying two months. 
usually in the city, so you have more time. I've been doing both. Okay. When I was younger, I was doing arena. Every week, changing city or country. It was pa 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 yeah. all the time. No, I'm in Big Top. I have time to do this. You're, you live in a spot yeah, for two really months. Really. And you that... know, when you are in New York or San Francisco yeah. or like Chicago, it's like yeah. they are a great city. You're like yeah. two months there. We're living downtown usually, nice apartment. I mean, I love to discover a new yeah. place all the time. And like next year, we're going to Japan for one year and a half. It's oh, a completely new country. Incredible. New, new food, new people, new culture. So I'm super excited about this yeah. like, to, to go there. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much, You're Matthew. Welcome. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. Next week, we get to have some real fun and explore the exciting world of Cirque du Soleil's newest show, Volta. We're like BMXing. I've got a helmet. Love that. Oh, it's 11-11. Time for lunch. Tell me in the comments if seeing all the clips from Curios got you curious about the show. As a friendly reminder, click here to see the complete playlist of the World Of series. And there are some very special cool things down in the description bar. I don't really know what's down there. Just take a look. I'm Matthew Rodriguez. Remember to subscribe to Cirque du Soleil to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way, where everyone every day is extraordinary.